Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another Madden 22 video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be going over my top 10 sleeper teams, whether you're playing online, uh, you know, regular game mode, uh, play now, whatever, or CFM connected franchise mode. These are going to be the best teams to pick if you want a little bit of a challenge, but they might ultimately be better than some of the more popular, well-known teams. All 10 of these teams are going to be teams that did not make the playoffs last year, but have a lot of potential for growth as always if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section or if there's teams that you think should have been on this list or teams that i picked that you don't think should be on this list let me know in the comment section as well other than that let's go let's get right into the video now starting off we have the dallas cowboys this is a team here that i already put on my top 10 offensive teams list it has one of the best offenses in the game but the reason it's on a sleeper list is because it has one of the worst defenses in the game as well but ultimately i mean when you have an offense like this you can win shootouts. Dak Prescott's a solid quarterback. Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard still create a pretty solid tandem uh, running back. And then you also have one of the best receiving cores in the game with Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, and CeeDee Lamb. And on the offensive line, they still have a couple of good pieces in Tyron Smith. Uh, and obviously, Zach Martin's one of the best uh, in the game. On the defensive side, though, I mean, they have a couple of decent players. Demarcus Lawrence is obviously still a really good player. Leighton Van Der Esch, not really sure where he's going to be. But they did draft Mika Parsons with the 11th overall pick, and he should be a stud. I mean, they did draft Calvin Joseph in the second round. He's supposed to be really talented. We'll see what his rating is. Uh, but like I said, I mean, there's nothing really here that stands out as far as a player that you can build a defense around. Trayvon Diggs might be one of the better ones as well, kind of buried on the depth chart. But ultimately, this team, it's really, it's, it's, it's boomer bust. It's all offense, not a ton of defense. Next up, I got the Chargers. This is another team that is just really hit or miss throughout the entire roster. They have a lot of good players littered throughout the roster, though. Uh, Justin Herbert, obviously, is a stud quarterback he's going to be one of the stars of the league are expected to be in this upcoming season Austin Akella really strong running back especially speed receiving all those things are really important uh, Keenan Allen and Mike Williams give them a good receiver tandem but I don't really think they have a third but they definitely have two very good receivers at the top of the order and then Jared Cook they brought in to be you know obviously a really good receiving tight end the offensive line is you know hit or miss as well they did have Brian Bulaga and Corey Lindsay are very high rated overall so they should have some good uh, you should get some good line play then you look at the defense. I mean, Joey Bosa is one of the best defensive ends in the game. Cornerbacks-wise, they lost a lot of cornerbacks, but they did draft Asante Samuel Jr., I think, in the second round, and they still have Chris Harris Jr., um, so they have two decent guys there. They still have Nasir Adderley, who I think is a good young player, and Derwin James. At some point, hopefully, this guy can stay healthy because he's an absolute monster in this game. So, they, like I said, they have some parts that you have to, you know, you got to fill in some holes, but overall, this is a very good team. Next up, we got the Raiders. Now, Derek Carr is a solid not spectacular quarterback but you can definitely you know that's that's all you really need when you move on to some of the weapons he has like Josh Jacobs who slowly turned into or quickly rather turned into one of the best running backs in the game then you go to the receiving core I mean Henry Ruggs speed alone makes his team desirable uh, but then they added John Brown who's also a really good receiver and has some pretty good speed so ultimately they have a couple of decent receivers they probably could use the third get to the tight end spot though and there's probably your third receiver right there Darren Waller is essentially a receiver playing tight end so have him on the field as much as possible make him your third receiver and your starting tight end and utilize that then you get to the offensive line they put a lot of draft picks into that like Colton Miller Richie Incognito obviously is a, a good veteran uh, and then they drafted Alex Leatherwood in the first the defensive side actually has more talent in my opinion than the offensive side Max Crosby I don't know what that guy has to do to be an 80 plus player but he should be this year really good player they brought in Yannick Ngakwe too another really good young pass rusher still have Cleveland Farrell as well but the secondary got a lot stronger when they brought in Casey Hayward Jr. Trayvon Mullen had a good rookie year, and they also have some pretty good safeties in Carl Joseph, Jonathan Abraham, and uh, Trevor Morig, who was the highest rated safety in the draft. Next up, we got the Bears. Now, this is a team that for years it felt like they were just a quarterback away from being like an actual Super Bowl contender. Well, they might have finally found that quarterback in the red rifle, Andy Dalton. No, I'm just kidding. In reality, it's all about Justin Fields. This guy here should have the physical profile to be an instant impact player for this team in Madden and over time should be a star. I mean, he's probably going to be close to 90 speed. He'll probably have like a 90 throw power. That's all you really need. Moving on to the running back situation, they have a couple of decent running backs. They, dra or they, they have uh, David Montgomery, who they drafted not too long ago, uh, and Tariq Cohen, who's a young player with some speed. The receiving core is actually a lot better in Madden than it probably is in real life. Allen Robinson is a great player, but guys like Marquise Goodwin 
at that 97 speed, I'd much rather throw the ball to him just because of that speed is game breaking. Then you get to the tight end. Cole Komet was a, a second round pick last year. Jimmy Graham could still play a little bit. Uh, the defense though is really where it's at. It's been where it's at for the Bears for a long time. Their front four has a lot of beef. Guys like Akeem Hicks is a 95 strength. Uh, guys like Eddie Goldman, who's a 92 strength. And then Khalil Mack, obviously, is a game-wrecking player off the edge. So Roquan Smith, great linebacker as well. Uh, Robert Quinn, a really good pass rusher. So they have a really good front seven. The cornerbacks lost a little bit when they lost um, Kyle Fuller. But Desmond Trufant is a decent player. Jalen Johnson was a second-round pick. So they have some talent in the back end. They still have some of the best safeties, too, in Eddie Jackson. Another team that has the same situation where they might just be a quarterback away is the Patriots and they went out and got Mac Jones who's a guy that I don't I like him the least out of the young quarterbacks out of the first round quarterbacks but at least they have a young option moving to running back I think they you know they still got the same guys nothing spectacular there uh, moving to receivers though they did go out and get a bunch of receivers but none of them are really spectacular tight end does though they did go out and get Hunter Henry they did get Jonu Smith um, and they still have a great offensive line or at least a very talented one you can see four players out of five are above 80 the defensive side is very strong as well the front four not so much they don't really have a great um, you know defensive lineman but Christian Barrymore might be that guy who they drafted in the second round then you go to the linebackers they brought on Matthew Juden really good pass rusher they, they got Dante Hightower still Kyle Van Noy they brought back so all their linebackers are above 80 and then their secondary is probably the strength of the entire team with Stephen Gilmore hopefully he gets a little bit of a Braves boost JC Jackson and uh, Jonathan Jones one of the faster cornerbacks in the game so you got a three three great options there and Devin McCourty next up we got the Giants now this is one of my favorite sleeper teams even though I have them so low on this list that's all because of this guy right here it's still young so there's a chance that you could work him up into a decent quarterback if you're playing CFM but other than that in regs he might not be a very good option going to the running back situation I means Saquon Barkley is one of the best running backs in the game then you move on to the receiving core and this is where they really uh, step their game up I mean they went out and signed Kenny Galladay they went out and drafted Kadarius Tony they went out and brought in uh, John Ross who's one of the fastest receivers in the game so it's like you have a lot of explosiveness on this team Darius Slayton's an explosive player I mean Sterling Shepard's a really good player you have five receivers here so you should be able to maximize a porous quarterback with this receiving core and then you also have one of the best tight end sets as well with Evan Ingram who's one of the fastest tight ends in the game and Kyle Rudolph who's a really good blocking tight end they're not loaded as far as offensive line goes they're one of the worst offensive lines in the game so that's going to be something that could be a problem when you're trying to do deep passing on the defensive side though they're surprisingly talented at a lot of different areas uh, Leonard Williams had a really good year last year he's a good run stuffer and you get after the quarterback a little bit uh, and then the cornerback situation is much improved I mean you have James Bradbury one of the best cornerbacks in the game Dari Jackson is a very good pickup, a very good speed guy, and then their safeties are better too. They brought in, uh, I mean, Logan Ryan last year, and then they brought in Jabril Peppers last year. Next up, we got the Panthers. Now, this is one of my personal favorite teams. I just, I just like the way that they're set up. Uh, bringing in a real quarterback option in Sam Darnold should pay dividends immediately because he's a much better throw power guy than Teddy Bridgewater, and I think he can work him up over time. Uh, Christian uh, McCaffrey, obviously, still one of the best running backs in the game, even though last year he was hurt all year. They drafted Chuba Hubbard too so they have a really good one-two punch then you go to the receivers they did lose one of their better receivers but they still have dj moore who's a star and robbie anderson who i think is kind of a star too i mean he's super fast so those two guys alone and terrence marshall who they got in the second round six foot three guy with speed you should be able to work him up in no time then you go to defensive a lot of weapons on defense too brian burns is one of the fastest defensive ends coming off the edge 88 speed uh shaq thomas Really decent linebacker, a good coverage guy. Uh, and then Hassan Reddick, who they brought in from the Cardinals. He's a little bit more of a pass rusher, but they have some really good linebackers. The cornerbacking core is much improved. This is something that really intrigues me. Between A.J. Boye, he's been one of the better cornerbacks in the game for a while. Dante Jackson is one of the fastest cornerbacks in the game, which always intrigues me because speed is really important at 96 speed. And then they drafted J.C. Horn, I think is going to be a star in the league. So you have three good cornerbacks right there that should be able to carry you through any situation, regs or CFM. Their safeties are really impressive too with Jeremy Chin, who I think played more of a linebacker role. Next up, we have another team that really just needed a quarterback, and I don't really know if they got it. I think this is a team they're going to regret not drafting Justin Fields, but Teddy Bridgewater at least is a slight upgrade. I probably might go with Drew Locke. I'd really go with whoever has the better arm. Other than that, they
They have a ton of weapons. Good running backs, guys like Melvin Gordon. They drafted a rookie, Javante Williams, who should add something. Then you go to the receiving core. They have a really solid three receiver set between Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, their first round pick last year, and KJ Hamler, a speedster, who was their second round pick last year. They also have a speedster at tight end, and Noah Fant, who's one of the best tight ends in the game already as far as receiving goes. On the defensive side, they're much better. I, I was really surprised at the defense. Shelby Harris is probably their best defensive lineman, but once you get to the linebackers, you have studs like Vaughn Miller who's still obviously around. Alexander Johnson's a good player as well, but then you also have Bradley Chubb. So it's like those guys, their linebacking core might be the best linebacking core in the game. Then you get to the secondary and they have a really strong secondary as well. Another team that drafted a young cornerback in Patrick Sersane the second with the 10th pick, but he's got to get ahead of guys like Kyle Fuller who they brought in. Callahan's a great slot receiver or slot corner option. Then the safeties are even better with Justin Simmons, who's maybe the best safety in the game, and Kareem Jackson giving them one of the best tandems in the game. Next up, we got the Niners, another team that was just a quarterback away, and they might have that quarterback in Trey Lance. We have to wait till we see the stats that they give him, but I think he'll have the speed and the throw power to be in the same boat as uh, you know as the Bears, where they finally might have a real quarterback that is worth playing with. Raheem Mostert's one of the fastest running backs in the league, uh, and then they have some good receivers too, young receivers. Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk have both already shown that they can play in this league so hopefully they'll get ratings boosts uh george kittle might be in my opinion might be the best tight in the game because of his blocking ability and his speed uh the line's really solid trent williams is one of the best uh left tackles in the game they also have alex mack who they i think they brought in recently just a solid offensive line across the board then on the defensive line same thing eric armstead nick bosa these guys get after the quarterback without you doing anything d ford uh fred warner is a guy not a ton of people know about he should be more well known the cornerbacks hurting a little bit but Verrett's still really good jimmy ward and uh you know tart make a really good safety tandem and then last but not least my number one sleeper team that didn't make the playoffs last year is the cardinals kyler murray gives you everything you need a quarterback he's 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 basically you know lamar jackson light they got some good running backs. James Conner leads the way. A little bit slow, but ultimately, this is a passing team. It's a pass-heavy team. But you have DeAndre Hopkins, a 99 overall guy. A.J. Green they brought in, maybe a Hall of Fame caliber receiver. Christian Kirk's got speed. Uh, Rondell Moore, I think he was their second-round pick. He's just a, a blazing speed guy. You can see here they have him listed at 97. I don't know if that's going to be the final. Then you go to the defensive side, the biggest improvement is probably bringing in J.J. Watt. One of the best pass rushers, one of the best run stoppers in the game. You pair him with Chandler Jones, having them both going after the quarterback. You're going to get a lot of pressure without even having to really send blitzes. Then you also have Isaiah Simmons, one of the best user players in the game. They have him here listed as a linebacker. I don't know if that's really what he is anymore, but six foot four, 94 speed. He might be the best user uh, option in, in all of that because of those two measurables right there. They did bring in Malcolm Butler. They do have Byron Murphy. These guys aren't elite speed guys. Uh, they're both above 80. Then you go back to safety, and Buda Baker's one of the best safeties in the game. So ultimately, this team doesn't have a lot of holes. They have a lot of outstanding players, and they're my pick for the best team, the best sleeper team to take in the game. Uh, and I might do, I might take them in a CFM and make some videos about it. So if you guys want to see that, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.